Quantity surveyor does a number of things. Um, we have to understand everything from building a house right up from the ground to anything like a museum or a bridge or a stadium. Well, they are the accountant of the construction industry. They deal with the money on a daily basis, budgets, cash flows, and basically make sure the uh, builders are stay honest. You're not stuck in an office, you're out and about, you work on some awesome types of projects, um, pays really well, and it's really enjoyable. More job prospects, more job opportunities, um, both here and overseas. I've, I've talked to a lot of people who say uh, they've spent a couple of years overseas and it's, it's really easy to find jobs over there, so that, that really interests me. I've been quite lucky in my time as a QS, um, given that I've had the opportunity to work in London, which was a, a massive city, and while I was there I got to work on um, some really cool projects, uh, one of the biggest being 600 year old uh, Museum of London. Working on the largest timber building in Wellington, uh, government buildings, uh, working on the City to Sea Museum, which is along the waterfront of Wellington. Being a QS is, is, has a lot of good things about it. Um, the breadth of work is awesome, you know, you can be uh, in gumboots on a site, trudging through mud one day, you'll be um, suited and booted at a, at a formal function the next, getting cocktails. The combination of, of maths, um, using maths in the, in the workplace and being in the construction industry, I, I really like the construction industry, so having a job that combines both of them um, is perfect for me. The pay's great. Um, like anything, you've got to start at the bottom of the pile, but you keep walking up that pile and it gets better and better. For secondary students that are interested in being a QS uh, in any way, shape or form, my, my biggest bit of advice would be before getting into the degree, um, spend two or three months out on site, being a labourer, doing some building, just understanding construction. Being good at maths is a helpful tool, but you, you can learn, you're always learning. Physics is a bonus, English is good because communication is quite a big thing in quantity surveying. Job opportunities are really good at the moment, we've got a boom in Auckland and Christchurch is rebuilding so there's plenty of work around. If you want to become a quantity server now, uh, you go to Polytech, you get a diploma and you'll be a cadet in a company or a QSing straight away. If you want to go overseas, you need a degree, you go to university.